my name is Lawrence Kent Jones. I've been a serious photographer since I was quite young and I am a fairly recently retired Foreign Service officer so I've been able to take my avocation all over the world. These are some of my photographs, mostly from Nepal. There's one to the other side of me from uh, uh, Haiti and most of them are stitch panoramas and most of them are infrared. It's a quasi-color of light. The vast majority of the people in the world cannot see that part of the visible light or the uh, light spectrum, the electromagnetic spectrum, uh, but you can fairly easily, though not necessarily that inexpensively, uh, modify a digital camera to shoot in that part of the spectrum. Okay, this is the Marche Croix de Vosal in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. This photograph was taken about uh, in December of 2017. This is the main market for Port-au-Prince. Um, so this is actually distribution of food and other goods for a city of two and a half million people. It occupies a huge footprint right behind the port. And, uh, and it's a very interesting uh, place that uh, non-Haitians don't go to too often. In fact, a lot of Haitians don't go here either. Um, this is a, first of all, an infrared photograph, but it's also a stitched panorama. So I took one photograph, another photograph, another photograph, and so on, and I put them together in the computer using uh, specialist software. Uh, this one was actually a very difficult photograph to make uh, because people are moving uh, and I had to mask out multiple versions of people where the photographs overlapped uh, and the other thing I had to do uh, after I had eliminated all the duplicate ghosts of people, ghosts being a technical term with uh, panoramic photography, then I had to uh, go and fix all the mist stitches in the power lines in Photoshop. Uh, that was all handwork. But of course the real thing here is this amazing scene and this goes on for hundreds of feet in either direction. Um, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful uh, example of people making it work no matter how limited their resources are. This is uh, the Boudinath. It's in the northern part of Kathmandu City. It's a several frame stitch panorama assembled in the computer after I took the pictures with a digital camera. It's the center of Tibetan life in Nepal, both Tibetan life from the old days and the Tibetan life from the refugees that have come in after the communist uh, Chinese takeover of Tibet in the 50s. Um, it's an amazing place, both sacred and profane. So it is a major pilgrimage spot. Uh, it's surrounded by monasteries, but it's also surrounded by coffee shops and tattoo parlors and best tapas joint in uh, Kathmandu and all kinds of things that cater to the tourists. Uh, and it's just a wonderful place. People love going there. This is um, Lakeside in Pokhara. Pokhara is the second biggest city in Nepal. Um, and it's situated on Bewa Lake. And this is the very southern end of Lakeside and the southern end of the lake. Um, it's a stitched panorama assembled out of multiple pictures. Um, and um, it looks very, very cool. And believe me, it's not height of summer. Uh, but of course, infrared. Uh, makes green vegetation look white. So you get the white from the other side of the arm of the lake and then the gray from the uh, leaves of the uh, trees. Uh, everybody from Pokhara who sees this picture gets really sentimental because this is a place they all go to uh, chill or hang out with friends or to court. Uh, so it's a very familiar place for people from Pokhara. And, uh, and I think it's graphically very strong too. an infrared photograph that I call the committee. It's a portrait of three elephants and their mahouts. It's at Tiger Tops, which is a resort in southern Nepal. You do not ride the elephants at Tiger Tops. You walk with them. Uh, they're very eco-friendly. Um, and I just, you know, it is a good portrait. Of, uh, of gives you a sense of the relationship between the men and the animals. And of course, these are very smart animals. They have a lot of personality. Uh, and uh, the bond between uh, Amahud and uh, the elephant is very, very strong. Uh, the draw of the art and the calling 
uh, to make art just got very, very strong. And also where I felt with, that the images that I was creating had some strength to them. But I'm really happy with the work, both technically and in what I feel it says about the world, and to a degree about me.